final challenge. How you feeling, buddy? I feel good. You know what I mean? Feel great. You know what I mean? Better than 10 minutes ago? Yeah, hell yeah, better than 10 minutes ago. Y'all crazy. All right, tell me biggest win of your career, Jose Spategi. Not many people were giving you much of a chance, but I know you gave yourself a huge chance. Oh, yeah, like, um... Like I said, like I said, you can't listen to boxing people who never laced up a pair of gloves before, and they say these shit like, "Oh, he the boogeyman," and he ah, uh, blah, blah blah blah. But besides, like I said, like I said before, before the fight, besides um, Andre Durrell, who else did he beat? Who? Like you know what I mean? So um, and people are stupid. I'm coming from 175. I've been there with the biggest punchers. Don't even stop one time. And the other three was robberies. And you can look this up. This is public information. So me coming down to weight and fighting somebody when I've been in there way tough for bigger guys, what makes people think, hey, I don't know shit about boxing. To not get to, for me to be a 10 to 1 underdog, is like, wow, really? Like, like, and and if, I, if I ain't hurt my rotator cup and broke both of my knuckles, I would have stopped him, I promise. Right, well, you, you dropped him early on in the fight. Tell me about that. I mean, I, I knew you were confident going in, but did that, but once you're in there, it's different. Does that make you feel like, okay, I got this, I can do this? No, I knew that when I, when I was walking to the ring. I, was, I wasn't worried, nervous about nothing. I'm like, I wasn't worried, but I, I was like, yo, it, I wasn't worried, worry or work, like worry about nothing. I'm like, I'm like, if he stand in front of me, I'm gonna put. I knew I was, I, I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't know it was gonna happen in the first round, but I knew eventually it, 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 that was gonna. I heard him in the eighth round too bad, and he was holding on. The ref took a point away from me when he was holding me and holding me, and I was trying to get room. I was like this, and he was holding me. And the ref took a point away from me. I'm like, you serious? The last few rounds, you kind of changed the strategy with Lillian. You, you were more engaging early, then you got a little more in your bike, and boxed yeah. a little more in the second half. Was that a conscious strategy? Maybe you felt more confident that you were up on, on the cards and you didn't want to do anything stupid? Or, or no. Or was thinking you changed the strategy? Um, I pulled my rotator cup, and like I said, I, I broke both of my knuckles. So I didn't want to get into no no gun, no no no, no shootout when I ain't 100%, because he couldn't hurt me. He, I, he couldn't hurt me at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just didn't want to... Um, Give away no rounds. I just want to make it like a clear, like a clear win. Like I ain't want no rounds at the end to be close. So I just out, but you out box him. If, if you look at when he fought me, he he ain't finished strong when he fought me. He was beat up. A lot, but he was beat up. He won. He he wasn't really throwing no punches. When he fought Caleb, he was he was he finished strong. Even though Caleb still beat him, but he he finished strong against Caleb. With me, he didn't finish strong. That let you know the punch the, the punches was doing for did some damage. You know, you, 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 like you said, you were a huge underdog. Were you worried going to the cards? You know, even though you felt confident, most people felt you win. Were you still worried that they might? Uh... No, it was one of the fights where it's like, there's no way they can, it's no way they can take it away. It's like no way. It's like he, I gave him, I, I gave him, about, I, I saw, I gave him. He, he had three good rounds. I had it three to seven easy for me, like clear wins, like, like, like the one rounds I won was so dominant. It was like, and the rounds he won was like, uh, like, uh. He came on strong at the end. I, we give him that round. But the rounds I won was like from start to finish, dominant. You got hurt. You're already back in the gym, man. What was thinking behind that? Right there. Oh, you know, I just want to, you know, stay loose. You know what I'm saying? Um, just stay loose, man. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stay out the gym too long. I love, love, I love this. And now that I'm about to be in bigger fights and possibly be super middleweight champ of the world by the end of this year, I'm really motivated. Like, I'm really, my little injury ain't gonna stop me. Well, I know you guys uh, are familiar with each other. Is Caleb a name that yeah. you got your radar? Um, whoever. It don't matter to me. Like Caleb is like, like, yeah. like that's like that's that's my dude. Like that's my guy. Like that's still a belt, right? Yeah, like that's my guy. Like, 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 and Caleb understands. He he told me too. Like, yo, me and Caleb just to like, we don't care who we fight. We like, yo, we gotta fight each other. That's what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready. But I will tell you this, I'm ready for whoever. Like, like, I'm, I'm ready for, I don't care what champion I fight, I'm ready for whoever, whoever won it, like. All right, last thing, what do you think this fight does for you? I mean, it's, you know, you, you kind of dismissed the role, you were confident yourself, but he was still a big name, a former world champion. Where do you feel Lionel Thompson in the, in the division? Oh, I'm definitely. You staying at 168 now? Yeah, I'm staying at 168. I'm definitely the best super middleweight in the world, but I got to go out there and prove it, which I'm ready to do. Um. But as of right now, I got myself the top three. I'm, I, 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 number one. Oh, I'm going to get myself number one because you got Caleb, you got David, and those guys got belts. I don't have a belt. But I'm putting myself up there in the top three best super middleweights in the world. You got to realize, that was my first fight 68. And usually most guys take an easy one, a one they can make sure they can win to see how they feel making a weight. I took on one of the, the boogeyman division in my first fight there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if that ain't greatness, I don't know what is, you know? And I think most impressive you did it all with Chris helping you. That, that takes oh, that's Chris the man. I couldn't do it without Chris. Chris the man.
No, but with him, you probably would have knocked him out in the first round or something, right? Huh? Um, it was the blind leading the blind. I don't even know how we won. <laughs> All right, buddy. Congratulations. Uh, super proud of you. I'm sure I think Jim is. Uh, yeah. Man, thank you, man. I appreciate y'all. I told him to fight like this. He didn't want to listen. Uh,